Hey everybody, almost mailbag time. We'll get started at 10 o'clock and until then I'm going to let the kids run around a little bit. Just the usual stuff.
Hello. What's up, sweetie? All right. Oh, it's time. It's past time. I'm late. I didn't realize I was late. Hang on. Let's start with the mailbag jingle. adoption already for Rotterdam. He went home just a few minutes ago. And Millet and Sid will be going after mailbags. So we've got to cut off uh, by noon, regardless of anything. I think we're probably going to make it through before then, but it's iffy. Uh, there's a lot of small packages here. There's a lot of personal, you know, not dropship stuff here. So it could go either way. We'll find out. Uh, that's the only big news for the week. I don't think there's anything else that, that bears mentioning. Everything else is, you know, good and normal. These kids are out and playing, running around, having a good time. Uh, Loom had some good interactions this morning, so I'm feeling better than ever about her being able to hang out with the faculty. Eventually, we still have to take it slow. Um, you know, she's still prone to being a little hissy and maybe, uh, you know, uh, smacking a cat here and there. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. Otherwise, she's doing pretty well. So well, that's that. We'll jump right in. Uh, our first letter today is one that I already opened. Um, we're gonna think we're gonna hear a lot from these people today. I noticed on the box addresses, this is from Ports Adopters, and Ports having a graduation with you today, Saturday, July seventeenth at three p.m. And I guess we're all invited, um, but I think we're all gonna have to send our regrets since uh, I know I'm not gonna be able to make it, and I'm guessing most of you aren't gonna be able to make it either. Uh, but that's fine. I know she's going to have lots of friends and family at her graduation barbecue. And then there were also a couple of photos, recent photos of Port included. How sweet is that? Her adopters are wonderful people. They may not be much for social media, but they definitely keep in touch, and we really like that. And uh, constantly letting us know that Port's doing great and is well loved. So we got that going for us, which is nice. All right. Uh, now, what do we have next? We've got a pink uh, post of Norge. Okay. And it's got some sparkly little cats on it. And I'm missing a letter opener. We'll work on that. There we go. Oh, it says... Uh, Till I top genti? I'm obviously mispronouncing that really, really badly, but I have no idea how to make it right. So we're just going to have to go with that. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this card reminded me of Paisley. The text says, For the top girl, you and KA are the best thing on the internet. You are a true life hero. I also am so grateful for my KA Discord friends. So... Paisley, my girl princess, stop being stubborn, eat some foods, wishing all of KA a less busy future. I also love Lumen, Argyle, Chevron, Herringbone, and Basket Weave. Thank you, Mr. A. Looking forward to seeing them zoom and play. I will also miss the oranges and millet. Bye for now from Heidi, who is Norway Cat Fan on Discord. Well, Norway Cat Fan, thank you so much for sending me something utterly unpronounceable. I'm sure even you guys can't pronounce this right. Um, that's, you know, I'm just, I'm guessing, but I'm saying you're probably getting it wrong and you don't even know it. So, uh, it's a really cute card. It does remind me of the little Princess Paisley who is somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, I see her all the way back there playing with the other, uh, screens, Shoji screens. So, maybe she'll come around eventually. This looks like Harry right here. Hi, Harry. Is it you? Let me look. Yes, it is you. Uh, thank you so much, Norway Cat Fan. It's really sweet of you to write. And yes, obviously Paisley is eating very well now, but she was a bit of a holdout, so uh, I appreciate that. Here we have a letter from a fan since Rue. 
Wow, that's good memories back then. Rue, of course, the mom cat that gave birth on DJ's lap on the beanbag chair, a feat that still hasn't been duplicated. Gab gave birth on the beanbag chair, of course, but nobody was there to have a lap for her. Uh, all right, it says, Dear Chris, I recently sent you a book about cats on the internet because I saw it in a magazine. Since I haven't read it myself, I'm curious, did it mention Kitten Academy? Uh, love you. P.S. Really enjoy the squirrel close-ups. That butt-in-the-air approach is hilarious. Thank you. Aw, that's so sweet. Um, I'm only vaguely recalling that book at the moment, but I'm pretty sure I flipped through it and did not find Kitten Academy. That sounds familiar to me, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and that's okay. You know, uh, as far as cats on the internet go, I think when people think of cats on the internet, we're not the kind of thing they think of because I think they would normally think of things like, um, you know, cats that are uh, one specific cat or, you know, somebody's cat that's like Winnie, Winnie, Winnie and Gary. Like Wednesdays with Winnie and Gary is the sort of thing that you would think of, not, a you know, a place where cats come and go all the time like the Kitten Academy because then... You get really attached to those cats for that time period, but it's not the same as something like Winnie and Gary that you can be attached to those same cats for years. So uh, Wednesdays with Winnie and Gary is a great show, by the way. Uh, so I just I think it's probably just the way that people think about these things. Otherwise, I'm sure we would rate uh, if, uh, if people considered this also in that same category. I just kind of suspect that they don't, so... That's all. Uh, I don't feel bad about it. I think <laughs> as long as we're getting all of our kittens adopted out, uh, then we are getting all of the fame that we need. And uh, we certainly are there. So we got that going for us. Thanks to all of you. All right. Uh, this says it is from BX Feline Crew. BX Feline Crew. And it says, peace and love to you and yours. Aw, so sweet. Mary K. Amos in July from Dana and the BX Feline Crew. It is a Christmas card that's very cute. And it also appears to have a little Pep Smart gift card with some love stickers on it, I think. Or maybe it's just a. Oh, <laughs> it says cute and it says love. And yes, there is a gift card here and it says to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. KA is much more than going above and beyond compassionate care for moms and their kittens. Every birth, every feeding, every trip to the vet, every selfless act are from your giving hearts. On behalf of loving supporters and fans, we thank Kitten Academy for making the world a better place. Merry Christmas in July. Stay well and enjoy the rest of your summer. Hugs always. Dana BX crew with Gigi, Francine, and Daniel. Thank you so much for the PetSmart gift card. That is very kind and thoughtful of you. And I'll put it over to the side so it doesn't get filed with the letters. Um, uh, I, I feel like there was something in there I was going to respond to, but now I are. Uh, actually, I think what I was thinking is the reason I paused in the middle and looked off to the side is uh, I'm really sort of taking a risk here by having the fence up and having uh, all the faculty and the other uh, Millet and Sid out running around. Any of them could decide to go over that fence at any moment. Um, so there is that concern. And every time I hear a noise, I'm probably going to look over there and be a little distracted. But so far, so good, I think. Um, BX uh, Feline Crew, Dana and the crew, thank you so much for that generous donation in the form of a PetSmart gift card. Definitely appreciated. All right. Um, oh, Canada Post, Destination United States with a beautiful uh, unicorn on the address. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a newspaper, I thought it might be. All right, can read on air. Good, I like that. And uh, here we have the James Bay Beacon on the lookout for orcas. Mm. Oh, wow, they're all over the town. Uh, that's interesting. And also masks without masks. Wow, these look like some very interesting articles about uh, James Bay, presumably, with great photography. I wrote to you in May to let you know how much I appreciate watching what you do and how much it's helped me deal with some of the challenges everyone's been facing this past year and a half. I hope you enjoy the most recent issues of the James Bay Beacon. I said in my last letter I was ready to find another cat, and I think the cat Guardians of the Galaxy must have heard your voice because I won the kitten adoption lottery and on June 16th was able to bring home my beautiful little calico girl. Her name is Bergamo, 
burger, burger mod if you're uh, like me and pronounce everything uh, wrong. Um, but I think maybe I got it wrong both ways, though. I can do that. Now, she seems rather fancy for every day, so I call her Bergie. She's the most beautiful kitten on the planet, and yes, I know that every cat owner who's watching will beg to differ. She even came complete with a heart-shaped spot on her left hind leg. Thank you for sending my request to the, for the perfect feline friend out into the universe. I've included a couple of pictures, and I'm sure you'll agree she is a stunner. Oh, she is adorable. Very, very adorable. Um, while Port's boys were the first newborn kittens I'd ever seen, Loom's beautiful patterns are the first kittens I've actually watched be born. I was amazed. As a mother to myself, I was awed by the fact that cats have to go through labor multiple times over a very short period. Yikes. Her babies are so lovely, it's been fun to see their little faces and chubby bodies and watch them grow from blind, helpless little beings into more active kittens. With the oranges and millet gone, your house must feel rather empty. It must be bittersweet, but I know you'll be welcoming another mom cat soon. And we'll have another nursery full of tinies while the caterns branch out into larger spaces. I feel extremely grateful to you and all the others who foster so people like me can find wonderful new cat friends and family members. I'm doing what you said fosters appreciate most, which is sending regular updates on Birdie's progress. I do have one question. Where do all those Mylar balls and springs go from, aside from under the appliances? A few have disappeared completely, as have a couple of Warrens of dust bunnies who lost their homes due to toy retrieval. I hope your air conditioner company is able to receive and install your equipment sooner than the end of August so you don't have to suffer through unbearable heat all summer. British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest had just gone through a recent heat wave that saw numerous long-standing records for the hottest day fall, and I was so glad for my air conditioning. Thanks again for everything that you do, Paula in Victoria. Paula, thank you so much for the lovely note. Thank you for adopting, and thank you most of all for sending regular updates to the, the people that fostered your beautiful little kitten. That is the sweetest thing to do. And I don't know if I've ever called that out specifically as something that people should do in general. I know I've talked a lot about how much I appreciate it here, but I think it does make a lot of sense if you've adopted a kitten to, to let the people who fostered it know how he's doing because they definitely care a lot about it um, and would just be thrilled to know. It makes, it makes the adoption so much easier when that contact is maintained a little bit. So that's really, really sweet of you to do. Thank you for that. Thank you for the the, uh, the papers that look very interesting. And uh, yeah, the air conditioner has been fixed and I'm sitting in cool comfort right now. So that's also good news. And uh, was there something else I need to respond to? Oh, where did the springs go? Yeah, I don't know about that. It's, a, it's a definitely a mystery. So good luck. <laughs> okay. This says okay to, no, this is not, does it? Yes, did it? I think it did, something did. It said, it says okay to read online. Okay, it was happened to be right on the part that I tore off. Here we go. Ah, uh, free newspapers from Apache Junction, Arizona. Very interesting, the East Valley Courier News and the Territorial News, my goodness. Uh, interesting. Shanghai Pierce, a colorful Texas catter, cattleman. That sounds interesting. Uh, I am definitely going to have some fun with these as well. Uh, I especially love the little local free papers because they usually have great ads. And uh, that one seems like it's got a lot of personality going on there. Maybe as much as Shanghai Pierce. All right, you say, uh, here are a couple of free newspapers from Apache Junction, Arizona. I hope they give you at least some of the enjoyment you've provided to so many of us who enjoy Kitten Academy. As you may have guessed, we are quite familiar with the necessity of keeping cool and have many strategies to deal with the heat, the most effective of which is a great air conditioning system. Uh, I want to share with you the story of one of our cats. She was born under a shed by our back porch. As a kitten, she found she could crawl through the latticework and would play there. Ah, uh, we've been putting out food for her mother. She decided she liked people, and it wasn't long before she moved herself into our house. We named her Koneko, which means kitten in Japanese. She has shown herself to be very affectionate and unbelievably smart. Not only does she enjoy watching Kitten Academy, but she watches the security camera monitor, which shows the views from the various cameras located outside of our house, like the front porch, the backyard, etc. To our surprise... 
One day, while she was watching the monitor, she spotted some birds in the view of our back garden, which can also be seen from our kitchen window. She quickly jumped down from her perch and ran directly to the kitchen window to see the birds from there. She's shown that she knows where each of the cameras is located and will regularly go to the window that has something on the monitor that interests her. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. That is amazing. Uh, Koneko and River are your cats, and you sent some pictures of them. Uh, River from 2014, and both of them together now. Very beautiful. Anyway, thank you for all you do for the cats and kittens in your care, and thank you so much for sharing it all with us, your followers. Sincerely, Maudie. Maudie, thank you. How sweet is that? And it's great that you adopted um, a little, uh, I guess, semi-feral kitten that was born outside of your house and just decided it was yours. I guess it adopted you more than you adopted it, didn't it? That is really sweet and great photos. Thank you so much for sharing that. All right. Oh, we're moving right along here. Loom has so much to tell us about it. Oh, look at that. This is me. There's a dime in this that letter somehow. It appears to be pictures of all of the faculty and the Kitten Academy logo and me with custard up on my shoulder and DJ and I looking at a book. Um, oh, it says to Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello from Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh. I'm obviously mispronouncing Scotland. Happy KA Con 2021. The photos on the front are some of the photo pictures from the 2019 KA Con weekend that I took. Such wonderful memories were made and I met lots of amazing and kind people. I'm sure that although it were virtual, the same will be said about this year's celebrations. I found KA back in the days of Charlie in the Fonts class and have been watching ever since. However, my heart will forever belong to Angel and her fishes, in particular Hal, the best and coolest KA kitten to learn to cat. Thank you for all you do for the mum cats and their kittens. It fills my heart with happiness to see the care and love you lavish on them. KA has helped me get through some tough moments the last year especially, and I'm really grateful to have you, KA, and the community in my life. I've sent a few things for the Catters Endowments, but in my haste I forgot to fill in my Amazon note, so I'll shout out on Discord when you open it instead. Love and big hugs to everyone at KA and also those watching from Cal... Cal Edonia on Discord. Thank you so much, Cal. It was wonderful, uh, that visit in 2019. I hope we get to repeat it soon, uh, that people can come and see us and the kittens wherever we are, whether it's still here or uh, by the time KA Con comes around next year. It's right now, it's very uncertain where we're going to be. Uh, DJ has decided, um, you know, originally DJ's plans for her medical career were to do her three years residency. She's in her third year right now. And then uh, after the third year of her residency to go directly into practice uh, in internal medicine. But since then, she's decided that she really enjoys the pulmonary crit critical care, uh, the ICU basically work that comes as part of internal medicine. And you can specialize in pulmonary and critical care um, if you do a palm crit fellowship. So that's her plan now is to um, apply for a home crit fellowship and do another three years of basically being a doctor in training. Um, and uh, actually this weekend is, that's, that's our project for this weekend is uh, getting those applications in. Uh, she wants me to help her out with that a little bit. So the trick of course is that works exactly the same way it works when you graduate from med school, which is you apply to all the different places that you'd like to do your fellowship, just like you apply to all the places you'd like to do your residency. And then you go to whichever one picks you, uh, wherever it happens to be, which is exactly how we wound up here in Connecticut instead of uh, any place that we had on our list of places to move. So uh, she's obviously trying to get into a local fellowship here in Connecticut um, but if that fails, then uh, we could end up almost literally anywhere. Uh, so that's why KACON next year is going to be kind of up in the air until we find out. And I don't think we find out until March or April. So it'll be a good question where we're going to end up. Anyway, I love the pictures that you took from KACON and uh, 
that's just it's great to see. Thank you so much for sending those. And uh, let's move along here. Oh, this is from Neela Kangle, Kungle, um, which I think is the name that means blue eyes in DJ's uh, native tongue of Tamil. And it looks like a package of mostly treats and springs. Very fun stuff. And let's see. Got, oh, shrimps. Sorry, I was a little distracted there. Uh, shrimps, 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 and and salmon. Oh, good stuff. Freeze dried shrimp, freeze dried and springs, and more shrimps. And a note, and the note says, just a note. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and KA attendees, hello again from Mila Kungle in Arizona. Enclosed are some freeze-dried treats as well as some spring toys. Please use in the Academy as you see fit. I thought I'd share a story since watching KA has inspired me. I decided I needed more cats in my life, so I started volunteering at my local cat shelter sanctuary. It's fairly large and mostly a cage-free environment. So much hissing. Last week, I went to the kitten room first, and there had to be greater than 15 kittens. Um, but such cute little tinies. The littlest meowed at me when I entered, so I promptly held her. Meanwhile, another kitten immediately ran across the room, and in a split second, yet also in slow motion, Retro Spider jumped right onto my chest. Thankfully, I held on to each kitten. The kittens continued to climb my jeans, which apparently aren't as thick as yours, attack my back, and jump on my shoulders. I thought to myself, Mr. A sure makes this look a whole lot easier. He never yelps. The KA stream does not show adequately how torturous those kitten claws are. I was happy uh, to then visit with the adult cats and lick my wounds. At any rate, thanks for the inspiration. Keep on rambling, Neela Kungal. P.S. Miss your mom's postcards. Yeah, I guess mom ran out of the postcards, and that's okay. It was nice to get them while they were coming. It's sure great to hear from you, and I love your story about the little kittens running and climbing all over you, as they do. Uh, that is really sweet. It's so great that you decided to volunteer, and that is also something that is just always wonderful. So it's great that you're doing it. Every local shelter can always use more help. I've never heard of anybody's animal shelter anywhere that was like, no, we've got all we need. We're set. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. So it's great that you are volunteering and helping out in that way. And it's rewarding too, isn't it? That you get to see and hang out with all the wonderful little kittens and cats. And yes, I do uh, get clawed quite a bit. Uh, I think my jeans are pretty adequate, but often my t-shirts aren't. So once they get past jeans level, it's, uh, it's a toss up. But I've just gotten used to it. You know, as you say, uh, I've been uh, sort of scratched and clawed enough now that uh, you just deal with it. You get used to it after a while, I guess. So it's all worthwhile. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful note. All right, Joy F. Ooh, Joy F has sent a packet of toys, including, I recognize some of those wonderful mice that are, uh, oh, all kinds of wonderful mice that are hard to find. Here we have that Go Cat Go mice that were such a big hit for uh, Rotterdam and his crew that are also very difficult to find. So you've sent a handful of those and uh, you sent a note as well, but I also see there's flat mice. Ooh, a flat skunk. Wow, that's a new one. This isn't even a flat mouse, is it? This is a flat squirrel. Although it just says forest animal, forest animal. But we've got a flat squirrel and a flat uh, skunk. And this one looks like a flat, I don't know what that is supposed to be. It looks like a squirrel, but it's got a leopard print tail. Uh, okay, and then this one is, uh, oh, another one of the squirrel things. All right, so it just says forest animal on their labeling, but those are really cute. I don't think I've seen those yet. Stuffing free catnip cat toy. Of course, any cat toy, uh, if you leave it long enough, becomes stuffing free. Then we also have Rosie the Rat, a very, very valuable toy made with real fur that all the cats and kittens love, love, love these. In fact, uh, we had some of these the same size for the oranges, and all that is left is a head. Uh, they've actually eaten the rest of the leather because uh, they're so awesome, I guess. 
So these are really cute. And you sent uh, five of these, so I can guess what we're to do with them. But let's read your note. Oh, and also fun tubes in their uh, native unfun tube form. You got to push the ends in to make them into true fun tubes. All right, let's see. So your note says Mickey's Pet Supplies. Oh, maybe this came straight from Mickey's Pet Supplies? OK. Uh, in that case, there's not a note. It just says, oh, to Joy F. Care of Kitten Academy. Got it, got it. OK. Well, I'm sure you'll let us know, or I'm sure we can guess. Oh, deploy or caterns. Look, there's a comment section. That's perfect. Well, that's perfect, too. Deploy or caterns. All right, we can do that. And they included, with all of these obvious cat toys, a packet of dog treats. Again, I think they did that last time, too. Uh, very confused for a place that sells pet stuff uh, to send a bunch of dog treats with uh, cat toys. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's fine. I see somebody likes these. She likes everything, though. She's so cute. <laughs> She's just rolling around. All right. I need to open a box so we have a place to put all of these potential endowments uh, endowments or deployments. Uh, let's go for one of these Amazon boxes. Those are usually a pretty good bet. Oh, oh, that's heavy. Oh my goodness, I was not ready for that. Oh, that's much heavier than it looks like it ought to be. I think I know what that means it's got to contain. Let's find out. Indeed. We have, oh, this is perfect. Okay, good. This is even better than I thought. We have the Fancy Feast Chicken, uh, Classic Chicken Pate, Classic Pate Chicken. Yes, that's what I meant to say. And uh, this is, of course, the food that we feed everybody here, and they love it. We've got these kittens completely switched over to it, except we are still giving them some dry food, but the dry food I've also switched over from the RC Mom and Baby Cat Kitten Food to Dr. Elsie's Clean Protein, which is uh, a little bit nicer if you're going to do dry food. Um, that's a little bit of a better uh, choice than the uh, RC Mom and Baby Cat. And now, now, there's certainly times for the RC Mom and Baby Cat as well. So uh, anyhow, that's where we are. But you also sent uh, the Gerber Chicken and Gravy Baby Food, which I just put on my shopping list because we are just about to run out. Of course, we still have the ham I need to try, uh, but uh, I like to keep a stock of the chicken uh, in any way. So this is cool. We saved us uh, just a little while before we have to order some more of that. And it says here, Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for the mama cats, fur babies, and the faculty. Heard you were needing to restock. Hope everyone enjoys the practical gifts from Callie's Moms. Well, Callie's Moms, thank you so much. This is actually, like I said, it's perfect timing. It's exactly what we would need. It's exactly what we will use. Uh, and it's wonderful. Thank you so much. And now, I also have this box that you have sent, uh, you know, unwittingly, I suppose. It's perfect for putting all these toys into the label for a deployment or endowment for these kids. Kids have a lot to play with right now, though, so I think they're doing okay right at the moment. We'll see about uh, getting some of that stuff uh, deployed if they need it. And these, I'm just going to push right off to the side here, so after mailbag, they go directly into the food cabinet. All right, let me take just a minute here to check the streams. I guess they look okay. Also, I need to open this uh, non-specific diet beverage. I've already moved on from coffee this morning because I got up extra early for Rotterdam's adoption. And also because uh, I made uh, leftover French fries for breakfast, and that feels like a Diet Coke thing. Of course, I'm calling them breakfast potatoes because I had them for breakfast and they're potatoes. Uh, and that's the thing, where French fries, not so much. So, all right. Hey, look at that. This one says F-A-O Millet. Uh, F-A-O. F-A-O must be one of those um, abbreviations that I, I'm not familiar with, even though I ought to be. And the only thing I think of is F-A-O Schwartz, which I don't think exists anymore, right? Uh, and I don't know what it meant in that case either. I wonder if it will tell me. Oh, it won't. It won't even wants to correct it. I also am now getting a note that says uh, I should put the address on the screen because I haven't done that. I wonder if those notes had come through before and I just only am seeing them now. Where is that anyway? Yeah, 
There we go. A little better. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Anyway, okay. FAO Millet, and it says right here it is from Busy Cat. So here we go. Busy Cat. Oh, broke myself with that safety knife. Smells pretty nice. Uh, it looks like it is going to be a blanket to go home with Millet. Came here just in time. Look at that. Uh, handmade for your kitten by Busy Cat. It's beautiful. I love this print. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I already sent a quilt for Millet, but I wanted him to have another one in a sunflower design because he is a son of flower. Thank you for taking such wonderful care of him. He's a very special little kitten with love from Busy Cat. Well, Busy Cat, thank you so much. And this arrived just in the nick of time. Uh, since he will be going home today, uh, and I'll be setting his entanglements out directly after mailbag. Uh, I almost don't want to put this away anywhere, but I do need to put it back in here so that the uh, kids don't play with the tissue paper and get all over it and mess it up. It's beautiful. Uh, I really love that print. I love the, the teal color. It's always been something I like. I like the sunflowers. Everything about it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's never going to fit back in this bag, and I don't know how you put it in there in the first place. I didn't even open it that much. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to fold it again. I can squeeze it in there, and it'll probably expand back the way it ought to be. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see there was a giant kitten academy logo on the other side. Wow. Okay, now we got it. Perfect. And uh, this is for Millet. I want to kind of put it aside so that I don't accidentally pick it up with anything else at the end of the mailbag here. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to open next. I don't know why I'm avoiding these packages that are right up here close to me, but I'm going to open this one next here. Oh, this one says it is from Ports of Doctor. So let's find out here. I think there's a couple of these from Ports of Doctor, actually. How sweet is that? Oh, aww. You've sent uh, what look like big, soft blankets, and they're labeled Basket Weave, Loom, and Paisley. And it says Loom's Catters. And there is a beautiful picture of a puppy and a kitten together. Here's somebody squeaking. Why are you squeaking, kittens? Who's squeaking and why? I guess it's subsided. I see all five kittens, so everybody's fine. Please add these gray soft blankets to the endowments for Loom's kittens. Two previous came on Port's Adoption Day. Excuse me. We see how the kittens love the soft spots to nap on. It says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, to say hello and let you know you're on my mind and Port's also. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. These look like very, very soft blankets, and they exactly fill this box, so I'm not going to be able to use it to put anything else into, but here's what they look like if you'd like to see them. And they're all fuzzy, furry. I think you can tell. There you go. Paisley. So three of those, Paisley, Bloom, and Basket Weave. Uh, thank you so much to Port's Adopter. Uh, I guess Ruth. Everybody knows it's Ruth. Everybody knows it's Wendy. It's not Wendy, though. It's Ruth. I don't know. I've just got that song. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Ruth, uh, thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for taking such a wonderful care of Port. And I hope the barbecue today is also wonderful. And I am going to write Catterns. Hi, are you helping on that? Are you helping? You look like you're helping. Okay. Right over the box. So silly. I'm going to write it on this side as well. Perfect. Um, whoop, right over there. Perfect. Okay. Well, I covered up the entire address on this one, so I'm not sure who it's from. Let's, uh, it might be the other one, though. We'll find out. Let's see here. Ah, 
There's a smiley face drawn on the inside lip of the uh, thing here. And this says Paisley, Paisley. I see two things here that are labeled right away for Paisley. Aw, my present to you is my cuteness, it says, and it's wearing a bow and it's all sparkly. That is a very cute card. Aw, and there's a Petco gift card in here and it says Mr. A and Dr. DJ, go ahead, soak it in. Looks a little like the Loom Clan kids. Please use for her other kitten needs, uh, i.e. litter, food, treats. Oh, and this is from Fort's Adopter. Uh, they, Ruth says, P.S. Fort is doing great. Well, thank you so much. It is really sweet of you to send the gift card. And uh, please use for supplies for Loom's babies and mom cat. Fort is doing great. That is so so sweet of you. All right, I gotta separate that gift card out. And you've sent here a bunch of stuff. Here is a, a unicorn bed for Paisley, it says. It's a unicorn hut in pink. It is very cute. It's different than the one that we have. It's got a flower here and the purple horn and purple insides and little purple ears. That's very, very cute. We have a uh, ooh, very heavy pink furry throw blanket. It says pet throw blanket, and it feels like it's made from the exact same material as the marshmallow beds, actually. Uh, a lot of it. It's very, very heavy there. That's nice. That's, uh, that's going to be a great blanket. We have a little tiny unicorn. It says loom, and it's all smiley. I think there's one of these in the room, maybe, or there was, or a very similar one. It's very cute. I love the way the little paw pads are all different colors. Cute little rainbow unicorn for loom. Here we have a big gray marshmallow bed, which uh, says basket weave on it. Oh, it's perfect. That is perfect for basket weave. It looks just like him, actually. Marshmallow bed, good choice. And here we have a big white marshmallow bed. Very nice. And it must have a name on it somewhere, right? Everything else did. Well, uh, you... Uh, know where to get in touch with me, Ruth, to let me know if there was supposed to be a name on this. And if there wasn't, uh, I've given away some of our own marshmallow beds with today's adoptions because we like to send some things that kind of, that they like to use here at the Academy and that, you know, smell familiar to them. Uh, so we are several marshmallow beds short now at the Academy, including uh, we gave away DJ's favorite marshmallow bed. There's uh, this salmon pink color. Uh, and it was in the living room and uh, the sunroom and she she really liked that one but so did um so did rotterdam so rotterdam took the priority there and uh this white one would probably make a good replacement for that or for the, the gray one in the bedroom that's going with uh with sid and millet so uh so let me know if that was meant to be labeled for somebody great we'll get it to them if not uh we will I'll use it to replace one of the ones that goes around the Academy, and I'm sure it will also be given away uh, just as soon as possible. <laughs> That's the way those things go. All right, put that in there for Loom, and then the rest of this uh, we will figure out after, after. For now, I'm just going to slide that off to the side. Thank you so much again, uh, Ruth, not just for the wonderful stuff, but for taking such great care of Port. Here we have a big recycled chewy box that's covered in fun stickers, little unicorn poops, and there's a pineapple I see. That makes too much sense. Bananas, uh, rainbow poops. Oh, a guy, a smiley face with headphones on. Wow, these are all a little too appropriate. Let's see what we got here. Lou, do you ever stop talking? You got so much to say. She's a real chatty cat. Well, we got some tissue paper, some packing material. There we go. The note. Okay, for new mom green. That's a good start. And it's got butterflies on it. Very nice. Oh, it's got butter. No, wait, are these butterflies? Yes, they are. They're butterflies. I thought they could be flowers, but they're not. They're butterflies. And it says. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and KA friends, greetings from Wisconsin. Just a quick note to you and DJ to say a big thank you for all you do for the mom, cats, and kittens. 
a few things for the caterns and uh, for the caterns endowments that I hope they'll enjoy. I saw Paisley's gift and knew she simply had to have it. I couldn't not give a gift to the other kitties in Loom, so there are a few treasures for them as well. From Frozen Tundra Crew. Well, thank you, Frozen Tundra Crew. And let's see what you have sent. So first off, Princess Paisley. This is perfect. Look at that. It is a, uh, and I love the card you've made for it. It is a ball tower track in a beautiful girly lavender fit for a princess. Uh, and so is her little laser cut Princess Paisley card with a little crown on it tied with a ribbon. That is too cute. That is way too cute. And you've already seen what a fan she is of the ball tower. So that is a perfect gift. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, look at that. You made each one into a little bundle. You've tied this one together and it's got a, another little beautiful laser cut card. Or maybe I say laser. It could be a cry, cry cut. You say cry cut or cricket because it wants to be cricket, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, this is Loom and it's got a cat with a little heart and it's tied with this red ribbon. It's beautiful. And this is the, oh, the cat house. We saw this before. The one that's got the roof as a separate piece. And it looks like a little house. It's a pop-up uh, pod, basically a cat pod that looks like a house. Uh, we just had this here with the, was it the caterns that had it or it was before them uh, with the flower kids? Uh, maybe both. And, and then also a green Yao catnip catfish. That is perfect. Yao catnip is the good stuff. Luma is going to really, really appreciate both of those. Oh, but wait, there's more. Ooh, so much more. These are cool. Here we have a Project Cat uh, fake grass uh, cat, uh, what do you call it? It's got an activity thing. So it's got fake grass on it, just like that cat tree that's all the way back there. It's got, you know, like AstroTurf. And in, it's got some holes cut out here. And it's got holes cut out on the sides. And it's got jingly balls on the inside so they can reach in and play with it. And it says Chevron here and a really nice little cutout. And it looks like Argyle is getting the same. And also, so are the other boys. These are great, by the way. This is, I've seen these kids have gone nuts for just a real basic, like, triangle-shaped thing that's got a ball in it. They love reaching in there and trying to grab that thing. Uh, so this is going to be exactly the kind of stuff that they like. And that was his basket weave. And then the last one says herringbone. Of course it does, if you can see that. Those are really cool little tags. Perfect, perfect choice of gifts for these kids. And uh, I want to, I guess, transfer all of this stuff now to make here, maybe. If I can. Yeah, we'll work it out from there. Uh, for now, I'm going to put these in here. This is, this is so lovely. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much. That is really thoughtful of you. And uh, let's see, this is all going to the same place. So I'm going to put that in there. I gotta remember though these rosy. Oh, oh, oh no, my generic cola. I'm gonna have to go grab a paper towel now and pick that up before it gets too far. Uh, I gotta set, or at least remember these rosy rats are in here because that's the kind of thing that you might want to deploy before they go anywhere um, so they get some time to get used to it. In fact, maybe I should just toss one into their room right now. Uh, I think the white one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And I'll find it later and it'll be a big surprise. Hang on one sec. Sid really wants to come right through that fence. And uh, he almost seems like he could be okay with these kids. He, he was playing a little earlier with Harry through the fence. So I think he would do just fine. Um, but there's still a little bit of animosity from Loom. So, and you know, he's going right after mailbags. So they don't have to meet or be friends or any of that. Just give it a couple hours and the whole point will be moot. 
Um, all right. So uh, again, frozen tender fruit. Uh, those little signs and stuff are just the cutest package. And uh, I'd like to put these in here too, since they'll all fit, and that makes my job a little bit easier. Plus, then I can use this other really nice big box to put all this packing material into. That blanket made out of the material, um, the same material as these marshmallow beds, is really cool. It feels so soft. Uh, DJ and I actually have a, a blanket made out of that material uh, quilt for the bed so that, um, you know, we can have like a human sized marshmallow bed for ourselves. It's fun, but um, you gotta wash it a lot because it just catches everything in there. Uh, all the little cat hairs and everything. Goodness forbid they decide to throw up on the bed as they do once in a while. Uh, but it's fun anyway. It's cute. You get to pretend like you're a, a cat in a giant marshmallow bed. Um, but ours isn't like like that. It's not that dense. It's uh, I think it's just the one um, layer on top, and then uh, I can't remember if it's two sided or not. I guess it doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. Let me put some of this stuff out of the way, and then we will pick right up where we left off. This hasn't been opened. How did this get put back there as though this were uh, already open? Good chance for me to mention to everybody that all of the mailbag packages get gone through a second time when I break them down for recycling. So if I ever were to have something like this slip through the cracks, it would definitely get caught there. Very pretty. It says, enjoy your gift from one princess and four princes. Queen Mom Moon deserves a special gift. She's a sweet mom and a five sweet babies. Please give them all extra kisses and hugs from Linda B. Linda B, this is really, this is so perfect for Loom. I want to see her wearing this just because she looks so cute in it. It is a, uh, it's a pink collar that has very, very sparkly little rhinestones on it. And uh, there's a row of them that are in like diamond white. And then a row of them that are in girly pink. It is, it's so perfect. She looks so, so cute in this. I, I hope I can remember to use it at least for a photo shoot. One way or another, it will certainly go home with her. My pen, my pen. I just used my pen to label something, so it's got to be here, hasn't it? It's got to be out of here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's right here next to me. Okay, good. I want to write loom on it so I don't forget. Loom. Loom. Uh, I should be wearing my button that says, ask me about Loom. I love that thing. I just love that so much. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that was Linda B, right? Uh, Linda, Linda B. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. All right, there's the note. Okay, let's start with the note. Mr. A and Dr. Dr. DJ. Uh, we've got this beautiful abstract painting of some flowers. I think those might be poppies, although they look kind of orange. They should be more red, right? I'm not sure. Uh, to Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we just started watching Kitten Academy. What a wonderful thing you are doing. Taking mom cats in. Uh, keep up the good work. Enclosed our toys for Loom and her kids from Linda and Dennis. Linda, Dennis, thank you. It's nice to have you. Uh, I'm glad you decided to join us. And Linda and Dennis have sent some unique cat toys, some stuff I have not seen before. Oh, and a few things that I have seen before. So let's start with the stuff we've seen before. We've got some fun tubes and some springs. Uh, classics. Uh, these guys, by the way, really like the springs, and I keep I make sure they've got at least one kicking around, but they seem like they keep losing them. Probably the same spring zone uh, that uh, that the uh, uh, who was it that just wrote and asked where all the springs go? Um, probably the same place. There's probably a spring zone. So now that I think about it, wasn't the spring zone in the first Sonic the Hedgehog game? It was a Spring Hill zone. It's probably where they go, though, right? That would make too much sense. Uh, anyway, we've got two packets of springs, 
and two fun tubes, and then some stuff I haven't seen before. We have a natural pet cats made with cat toys made with the cats made with cat toys made with natural materials, and it's a camouflage. Uh, it looks like camouflage. It actually looks like cork, but the cork doesn't move like this, so I don't know what's up with that. A uh, little camouflage mouse. Anyway, we got two of those. Does it say what it's actually made from? No, it just says natural, biodegradable, includes catnip. But it doesn't tell us what it is, which would be really interesting. Hmm. It's got a little bit of rope, and it's got some eyes and ears. It's very cute. Packaging made with recycled materials. Okay, well, good enough. It, it actually kind of feels like quirky, too. That's weird that it looks and feels so much like cork, but it's, it's like a fabric. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, uh, there we go. Two of those camouflage, maybe cork mice, and this really beautiful catnip bird with, uh, with a feathery tail. These are perfect. These are great little cat toys. I'm sure they're really going to enjoy all of them. Oh, the bird has a mesh. The wing is a is mesh. You can see through. You can see all the catnip that's in there, actually. I know it's got to be hard to see for you because I almost didn't see it at first. But, yeah, you can definitely see right through there. Oh, and it smells like catnip, too. That's going to be really fun for them. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thanks for, for joining us, and thanks for sending some stuff for these kittens to enjoy. Uh, you can never have too many fun tubes. That is just always, always a hit. I almost want to put this bird out right now, but we'll, we'll put it aside for the moment. We'll figure that out. I know they're really going to like it, though. Okay. The kittens are still a little young for the catnip to be, you know, super attractive to them, but by the time they go, they're usually just about there. Uh, all right, I can't reach anything else. I'm just going to start with this. This says from Novra. All right, Novra. N-O-V-R-A. Novra. Ooh, Amazon gift bag. We're getting fancy in here. Oh, a couple of Amazon gift bags. Look at that. Uh, now, I know they put notes on the gift bag, but there's also notes in here. Let's just make sure they're the same. Yes, they are the same. Okay, it says, it's been a while since I sent some arrows your way. They are These are nice and soft. Use them however you like. The last year and a half, you and the kitten stories I tell my bright spot. Thank you from Nobra. Oh, that's too sweet. All right, arrows, huh? Let's see what that's all about. Oh, this is cute. These are soft little blankets. Oh, that's cute. This has, uh, I guess, bears and arrows on it. There we go. Very soft blanket. And this one has... Uh, just arrows on it. Oh, DJ's going to love these. This has uh, arrows of both types on it, the, both the kinds that are like pointing arrows and the kinds that are like shooting arrows. Very soft, too. I can tell how soft that is. Oh, uh, this is uh, more of the, oh, this is the same uh, gray blanket, the pointing and shooting arrows. And this is uh, slightly different. I have the same kind of idea, though. Uh, we got pointing and shooting arrows on it, but it's just all you can really see is the picture of the baby, but I can, I can see the rest of that going on there. Very soft baby blankets. These are the kind that aren't uh, just flannel. They are a little like, um, what am I looking for? Um, Ultra suede? No, it's not ultra suede. Is that right? Ultra suede, the like fake suede kind of stuff? It's not quite that, though. It's more like a low nap velvet. Velveteen. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're going to say. The velveteen, except real velveteen is not soft at all. Uh, this is this is very soft. Uh, I mean, maybe real velveteen soft after you've broken it in for a hundred years like the velveteen rabbit, but when, when it's new, it is, it's not soft stuff. Um, but this is very velvety, and uh, I'll say velveteen. And I'm going to put that right over here for now. Nobra, thank you so much. Those are great blankets. I love the arrows. Uh, like I said, DJ is going to really appreciate that. She likes to use the arrow blankets. 
I think the one aero blanket that we had that you used to see all the time might have gone as one of the, you know, smells like home adoption gifts eventually, uh, which is why we don't see it around anymore, I think. Uh, it's certainly possible that that happened. So uh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Kitten Academy, care of Callie's mom. All right, Callie's mom. Ooh. Callie's mom said, saw this and thought it would look cute somewhere in the loom in the Catterns Unicorn and Rainbows room or wherever you see fit. From Callie's mom's plural. Ooh, I like that. That is very rainbow. Uh, oh, and it looks like it's got a... Uh, it might be a um, some kind of a My Little Pony, or maybe just a pony, or maybe a, sort of a generic knockoff, or who knows? I gotta see the whole thing now, and then we'll send it up for wash, and we'll get it deployed because it is very pretty and colorful, and I like that. It will be perfect. Oh, all right. It's just a uh, your uh, I guess generic. Um, See, I'm looking, it's very busy too. There's a lot going on here. Okay, there we go. So I think it's upside down. Now I can see. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, which I guess is sort of a generic uh, rainbowy horse. I wanted to say unicorn, but I don't see a horn from this angle anyway. So, a uh, very rainbowy, colorfully, uh, cartoony horse. It's beautiful. It will definitely fit the room very well. And I will put it in this pile of stuff to go upstairs and be washed and then deployed. The colors on it are fantastic. That is a very bright, uh, rainbowy thing. That's what we like. Like bright, rainbowy things now. Okay, uh, next up. What on earth is this? Can I even get it out? Okay. Oh, well, now I see what it is. It is like a big, square, reusable, moving bag. It looks like a giant square box slash tote. And here's the note. The note says, For Paisley, a princess needs something stylish for all of her endowments from the underscore kitten. Awesome. Wow, Paisley, you are getting all the attention, and I think it's mostly just for being a girl. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. Whatever it takes to get ahead, right? So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to write Paisley on this. This is very cute. It's a little sort of pinkish, wine-colored Paisley. I bet this won't even fit half of her endowments by the time she goes. But there we go. We got her name on it. And, uh, oh, the box is a little closed. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Right on in there. Uh, the underscore kitten, thank you. That is very cool. Uh, that's, a, that's a neat little uh, tote box. Tote box? Yeah, I'm going to go tote box. Hi, Argie. Okay, bye, Argie. We figured out the cat tunnel finally. That's good. The cat tunnel? No, I mean, I guess that's not the cat tunnel. That's the ball tunnel. The ball track. Oh, man. I need more unspecified uh, carbonated... Uh, caffeinated beverage over here. Hang on one second, I'll get that. What? Uh, seems like it needs some explanation. For Mr. A, you may need this. Oh, okay. There's the explanation. Now I, I should have got it. I should have been a little quicker on the update. For Mr. A, you may need this. Uh, by the way, this is Mario's hat. Wow, it really is Mario's hat, too. That's great. Hang on a sec here. Look at that. Uh, I hope that comes across. Uh, you may need this because your Princess Paisley is in another castle. Thanks for all your work. Greetings, Agent K slash Philip. Okay to read on mailbag. Agent K, thank you so much for the Mario hat. That is something I will get use out of. I'm sure I'll come up with other fun things to use it for. Uh, yeah, uh, so there's Princess Paisley. Princess Paisley! She's not even in a castle right now. 
That is too funny. Uh, thank you so much for the Mario hat. How have I lived this long in my life and not had a Mario hat? That's perfect. So it never really occurred to me what a strange style of hat Mario wears. Hey, Lumi, Lumi, come on now. She's over there causing some trouble. All right, hey, it looks like we are gonna make it through the mailbag with a little time to spare, so that's great. Oh. See if I can slide this stuff over a little closer to me. There we go. It's -a me, Mario. Uh, <laughs> okay. Kid Academy, care of Callie's moms. All right then. Of course, and it's uh, it is. The Fancy Feast Classic Pate Chicken. Exactly right. Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for mama's cats, uh, mama cats, fur babies, and the faculty. Heard you were needing to restock. Hope everyone enjoys the practical gifts from Callie's Moms. Yes, Callie's Moms, that's always a good gift. It always, always gets used. And yes, we do need to restock. Like I, I think I probably mentioned the fact that I kept a big supply in reserve in case of any sorts of emergencies. And uh, I finally decided that we should rotate that out. So I've been going through it, and then I have to order more to, to replace it, replenish it, which I have been doing. Uh, but it always helps uh, to have a little bit of extra on hand as well. Uh, it certainly gets used. It's a very practical thing to send because it is definitely going to get used for these kittens. Uh, now that the oranges are gone, our needs might slow down a little bit. But at peak orange, we were going through well over a case of that a day. Uh, and uh, that's just ridiculous. I thought I had a box. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Okay, this is the one here. Now, what is this? Oh! Oh, hey, guys. I know exactly what this is. I don't think they sent a note. They did not send a note, but I know exactly what this is. They don't have to send a note. This is super special. So this is tissue paper for a tissue pit. It is orange tissue paper. It is all orange tissue paper. Can anybody guess what that's all about? I'm guessing some of you probably have figured it out. Why would we have an all orange tissue pit, especially now that the orange kittens are gone? Uh, well, it's because our friends at uh, Crunchyroll have asked us to participate once again this year in their expo, and they wanted to do a little bit of uh, uh, branding, I think, for the tissue pit. So they've got their orange and white logo, and branding is their, their usual thing. And uh, they thought, wouldn't it be fun if we sent a whole bunch of orange tissue paper and then, well, the uh, crunchy wrap, a uh, crunchy wrap, crunchy roll expo is going on this year. Uh, we can have an orange colored tissue pit. I think it's the most fun idea. It's going to be really cool to do a tissue pit that's sort of all monochromatic. And uh, these kids will really stand out if they're playing in it. So that's going to be really, really fun. They sent a ton of tissue, actually. That's a lot. Um, so this might actually work for a few uh, tissue pits. It's so perfect. I just, I love it. There's such nice people over there. And if you remember last year, they asked us, uh, basically all that they want to do is have their uh, Crunchyroll Expo. So Crunchyroll, as you know, is an uh, um, uh, online media company that specializes in streaming anime. And they've got a great selection of some really, really, really fun stuff. Uh, I do, if you're into that sort of thing, highly recommend them. Um, and then every year they do an expo. And just like us, the last two years, they've done an expo that has been virtual. And uh, as part of the virtual expo, then, they have various sort of uh, rooms, breakout rooms and stuff that you can go to. And last year, they had the Kitten Academy featured as the thing to sort of watch at the expo that, uh, you know, way to sort of chill out and relax a little bit and watch the kittens. And that was really fun times. So uh, they wanted to do it again this year, which that alone says everything. Uh, to, to us. I think that is the sweetest. It's really nice of them to think of us, that they appreciate it enough to want to do it again with us. Uh, means a whole bunch to me personally. Uh, it feels real good because um, as often as we've done sort of, you know, let people uh, 
to use us or uh, you know incorporate our stream into whatever they're doing. We like that. It gives us some exposure and it doesn't you know skin off our back, so to speak. Uh, it's it's the rare one that ends up coming back for a second go and uh, crunchy uh, roll. I keep wanting to say crunchy wrap. I can't do that. That is not okay. Um, uh, crunchy roll is uh, is one of the ones that has uh, said we really liked it. They would definitely want to do it again. So I like that a lot. It, it, it's it's super meaningful to us. And, uh, it's fantastic. And this is going to be really fun for that. So I'm going to put this over with the uh, stuff that we're going to use around here, and we will get a crunchy roll tissue pit going uh that's that's a super cool idea what a great idea too from their marketing people that uh i guess marketing people or, or event coordinators or uh, whatever their titles are over there the people that we've been talking to they came up with i the most i think the most impressive part about that is they came up with that idea themselves uh, after saying how much they loved watching kitten academy they thought why don't we do a tissue pit that's got our colors in it um, and that also says a lot. Not only does it, you know, we get, we get, oftentimes, I'll tell you what we get a lot of is we get spam mail from companies that have nothing to do with kittens and they all open with something along the lines of how much they liked watching us on YouTube and would we mind shilling their product that has nothing to do with kittens. And if you, if you look into it, even the slightest bit, it's obviously a form letter that never heard of us. It's just sent out by a robot. They have no idea what's going on. Uh, the uh, the crunchy roll people of course nothing like that uh you know they still say how much they love to watch us but then they talk about you know the tissue bit that they saw and how they'd like to do it with their colors in it they think that would be a really fun thing to do and that's how you know that they they really are you know people that like to to watch the kittens at the kitten academy and that just warms my heart and uh gives me a lot of good feelings towards the crunchy roll people they're 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 genuinely good folks uh, you know, whether you, whether their service is anything for you or not, uh, you know, it's, uh, you still know that they're just good people over there and that's, uh, that's really wonderful. So, uh, really glad to have been invited back to the expo again this year. And a couple more boxes here to go through. So uh, thank you to the Crunchy Roll people, by the way. Ooh, uh, this looks like a whole bunch of fun tubes. That is a lot of fun tubes. I didn't even know they came in packs that size. Mr. A and Kitten Academy. I saw the Catterns love the fun tubes, so here are a few to keep them busy. Greetings from me and my furries from Rhonda. Rhonda, this is, you say, a few. Uh, this is, each of these are 30, so that is 120. 120? Is that... That sounds right. Yeah, well, that's right. 120 fun tubes. And as you can see, these are uh, sort of the raw form. You've got to put the ends in to make them into a true fun tube, as I think I mentioned. Oh, these, uh, these aren't quite fun tubing. There we go. Oh, <laughs> all right. That's a, it's going into a half a fun tube. These do seem like a slightly wider diameter than the fun tubes that we're used to. Uh, but I think that could also be fun. It's the same material. It's the same idea. Look at that. I think the kids are going to like these. Interesting, though, that uh, I didn't even know they made two sizes of this stuff. It's, uh, it's interesting, too, how it's got sort of a natural point where you can turn it in. Uh, I don't know how that works exactly. Well, it's just as bouncy and a little bigger. Probably a little extra fun for these kids. So I'll leave a couple of those out. And the rest of these can go towards endowments and maybe some extra future deployments. Because they, they don't know if they lose the fun tubes. They end up tearing them up. And once they get a little bit over shredded, I, I throw them out. Uh, so this is really, really useful. 120, uh, 118 uh, fun tubes. I guess we put two out now. Uh, Rhonda, thank you so much for these. They are going to love them. You saw Lou was checking that one out already. Paisley is obsessed with that ball in the ball track. Good times. Okay, that brings us to our last, our final package, a chewy package right here from KJ in CA, or as I've mentioned before, could be uh, Kajinka. 
there could be the Cajun in California, Cajun, no, just Cajun California, or maybe Cajun Canadian. Oh, Cajun K A C A. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good times. I like that name because you can do so much with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, you wrote me about this. So you sent us uh, some of the food that we use to, as always, a very awesome and practical gift that we like quite a bit and will absolutely get used to its best purpose right here. But maybe even better, or at least more interestingly, you sent, and that worked perfect timing, the Cadet Design Senses, the replacement ball for that ball track. Uh, which is perfect because we've been using fake balls in there that maybe don't quite get the same attention. I've noticed at least uh, we have one more, we have one of these, the, the right real uh, balls remaining in the track upstairs. And the, uh, the oranges love that track more than anything in the world, more than this one. Uh, so I think that that's, it's good to have the real uh, on there. Plus DJ. Uh, insists on putting the real ball in because it's got a little more weight to it, rolls a little better. So DJ is like, we've got to get those. And I mentioned in a previous mailbag that uh, I had to, I've, I've got them on Amazon and on Amazon, they are on back order. I'm probably not going to get them for another month or so. Uh, but you ordered them on Chewy where apparently they are easily available. And now we've got enough uh, to last us a little while. Uh, I'm going to put one in, in this ball track right now um uh what was i going to say oh i was going to say also it's really cool that you did this because we've got all the parts for additional ball tracks or for larger ball tracks and this gives me uh, an extra ball or two to deploy with those parts and so we can have a ball track here we can put one in their room and uh, eventually the one upstairs is going to need replacement as well so thank you so much for helping us out with that and i'm going to switch this one out right now and dj will be so pleased I'm pleased to, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I think uh, people also like it when they can do something nice for DJ. And believe me, she, oh, I gotta take the little tag out so it lights up. There you go, see it lights up when they bat it around too, which is also nice. Very cool. Oh yeah, see that thing does roll a lot better. That thing's gonna fly around in there. Uh, now Princess Paisley's retired to the tree. The, oh, Loom is really checking it out. The Loom, what is it? What does that mean? Oh, she's really intrigued. She's got her ears perked up. What is it? What is that all about? What do you think? It's way more fun than the one that was in there, huh? All right. Well, that really works. Meanwhile, this will make a great ball for them to kick around now. It's got a little jingle in it, and uh, I'll just toss it in their room, and I'm sure they will end up playing with it quite a bit. I was surprised Loom goes right for that thing. That must have been what it was missing. I get that directly into the marshmallow bed. Nice. All right. Hey, that gets us through the mailbag. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to KJ and CA for sending those much-needed uh, cadet balls as well as the much-needed fancy piece. And thanks to everybody else for everything else. It's uh, it's really fantastic. And I am so, it's just, it's always heartwarming how many people um, come together to give these kittens just the best possible lives. Just the best possible. It's great. And I know the kittens, uh, they probably don't even know it, but on some level, they definitely appreciate it. I know they do. So. I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up, and then we're going to wrap up the mailbag archive, and then I've got to jump right into getting everything ready for Millet and Sid to be picked up, which we're expecting to happen around 2, but I never know how far people are coming from or when they're going to be early, uh, so I always like to plan ahead for that, and uh, if I do get it done, then uh, I can take care of some other stuff, so, so here we go. Right. Start right here by taking all this packing materials out. She likes that. Look at that. Was she play? Was she playing with it with the other with the red ball, or was that only Paisley and the kittens that were doing it? Whatever the case, she's really into it now. I might have to put this in their room. What are you saying? Oh, that's Sid. Sid really wants to be on this side of the fence. 
fact, he almost followed me through when I went and got up and get the paper towel, I think I said. <clears throat> That's good times right there. Okay. Oh. I think I can just put these with the spare ball track parts. Why not? That seems like the right place to put it. That's where I would go looking for them anywhere. Anyway. See, it's not the only one that wants to get out uh, on the other side of the fence. A uh, little Harry is at the fence constantly trying to get out of it. Uh, seems like he and Sid really would like to meet each other uh, a little closer. Playing through the fence earlier, actually playing, not fighting or anything. Uh, but like I said, uh, <laughs> in a few hours it's all moved anyway, so not much point in making the extra effort to try to get them together. Let me play through the fence for now. I'm having fun with that. patterns on there so it's clear what we got. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to carry stuff both ways because I can take this down to the basement to put where it goes and then on the way back up I can carry millet and sids and gallons up to the porch. So Let's start on that process. I think it's going to be a little easier if I cut a little handle in the side of this, wouldn't it? I'm going to try that, see how it works for me. Carefully. Carefully. Oh, not that careful. That's too careful. Eh, whatever. It'll do. Mm. That's better. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. It is much easier.
said it, Loom. Oh my gosh, he said it so much, though. Well, I feel like for the amount of stuff we had, that might have been a record time mailbag and uh, record time putting stuff away. <sighs> uh, anyway, thank you all again so much for everything. It's uh, spectacular, and we're really excited um, about uh, the crunchy roll thing, and uh, really excited about uh, seeing these kids grow up a little bit and all the fun they're having, and how much play they've got to do, and how many toys they've got now to play with. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see them play with a whole bunch of that stuff that came through in the endowments. So uh, maybe some of it we can get to play, but maybe some of it we'll just have to rely on their adopters to send us pictures of, as we always do. Uh, speaking of, we've already got some updates from uh, Rotterdam, even though he's still on the road. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, looking forward to hearing when he gets home safely tonight, how that's going. So. All right, well, so I brought a couple of the endowments up from the basement, but now it's time for me to get the rest of that together for Millet and Sid. So I'm going to get right to work. And if you are watching this on the archives, you can check out the regular Kitten Academy live stream. And if you're watching live, you are checking out the regular Kitten Academy live stream. How convenient is that? <laughs>